Start throwing right through the boat. Right through the boat. Go right over your head. Drop it. Strip it. Strip, 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 strip. Keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping. Up, 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 Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh! More coming here to your left. More coming. Same line over here. Longer strip, longer strip, longer strip, longer strip, longer strip. Keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Pull left. Watch your line get on a reel. Watch, look down, look down, look down, look down, look down. I just said the biggest prayer. Awesome freaking job. Keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping. Keep tripping. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Golly, they're everywhere, tons of them, holy cow! Wind down, wind down, wind down, there's your leader, there's your, you got it! Got it, release. release. awesome job. <laughs> that was fabulous! Oh. Hey, I'm very proud of you, you did everything so good. Hit him! Woo! Hey! Okay. Hey! Just like that. Give it to him. Give it to him. I gave it to him. Give it to him, son. <laughs> Give it to him. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> I got it. Got him. <laughs> now we're getting caught up. Now we're getting caught up in a world. <laughs> While fly fishing is thought of as recreation, most people in the Florida Keys consider it a sport. One that takes years of practice and time on the water to master. And like any sport, it's best to learn the fundamentals from people with experience. One such person is Isla Morata resident and fly shop owner, Sandy Moret. First time I got here, <laughs> it was hard to leave. <laughs> I came through uh, down from Miami one morning and it was just beautiful, the water, the blue and the white sand and the grass, it just, it just blew my mind. Sandy was a successful tarpon tournament angler and moved to Isla Morada in 1985. He and his wife Sue own and operate the local fly shop called Florida Keys Outfitters. In the late 80s, Sandy attended a seminar on fly fishing and thought, hmm, I should offer a seminar in Isla Morada where there are nice hotels, great restaurants, and experienced fishing guides to take clients out. Well, he did just that and started the Florida Keys Fly Fishing School. Our fly fishing school is 25 years old and I would say early on there's always been somewhere around 25 or 30 uh, percent women in our, in, that would attend. Uh, a lot of couples and I think one of the great things about it is that it gives you a chance to go to see the world together, to travel and go to places and share something. Um, and I see that every day, and, you know, when we, we have it. You see couples, and they leave the school, and next thing you know, they go to the Bahamas, they're back here again fishing. And I don't know that I see Sue and I going to Paris or, or London on a vacation, but I can sure see us going to the Seychelles. <laughs> This year marks the 27th year the school has been in session. If you're casting in areas where the fish be very spooky, uh, a clear line is wonderful. Its instructors are the who's who of the fly fishing industry. It's a small fraternity of buddies, really. Good fellas that have racked up more days on the water than sand on the beach. Helping Sandy today are Jerry Seam, Paul Tejera, Chico Fernandez, Steve Huff, and Rob Fordyce. I'm gonna do this very slow motion, because this is, again, this is several steps that never vary. I make my first back cast. The fly comes out of my hand. I take the line out of my rod hand. 
make my first forward cast. Make another back cast or forward cast, measure the shot, and put the fly down. From novice to expert, this school welcomes all anglers. So I come tight, I feel it. I Regardless of your skill set, you'll walk away with a wealth of knowledge and the confidence it takes to catch and land fish anywhere in the world. I just feather it and take it up. Rob's wife, Catherine, is a student this week. Weave your fingers and rotate and pull like that. That's good. 10. 10 pounds. Good. You ready? Being married to one of the area's okay. best fishing guides right. has it. its advantages. Click full cast four or five times and then make the drop. Don't get trapped trying to make a better loop into full casting 10 or 12 or 18, oh, 20 times. Okay. You get tired, you lose concentration, it okay. doesn't work. Yet so Catherine is here to build on what she already knows in order to make herself a better angler. She's no stranger to hard work. Catherine is a mother of two and a firefighter paramedic with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. The whole, the whole and the, forearm and the from forearm, the elbow that's is, right. becomes part you, of the You don't move the elbow, you don't take the elbow back, the elbow stays there and you make the cast. Okay. If you move the elbow, let me move it. This is exaggerated, but if you move the elbow, right. you don't make a cast, why? Because you're not moving the tip very much. Okay. But once you keep this here and you move the tip, so, so your forearm is part of your rod. Okay. Her goal is to catch a tarpon on fly, and she's confident the Florida Keys Fly Fishing School is going to help her put her hands on the Silver King. Okay. Once you do this, the loop opens. Okay, let's see. Yes. Wow. Yes. See how the loop, see how, see, yes. see how nice the loop is? Yes. And now you find that you're doing very little effort. You could do half that effort and it still goes out. As long as you don't drop the tip, it, you form a loop always. You can. Wow, I love how you explain it one time, yeah. Rob. You know, yes, you, explain you, it like a hundred times. No, you can't have your husband yeah. teach you. No, it, we know that. Rob is a great <laughs> angler, but you can't. It uh, doesn't work. I can't wait to teach Rob all my new tricks now that I just learned. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> I can't wait you, to see you that. You want to witness that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bring the camera. We, we're going to tell Rob what to do. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm bringing a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs>
big herd coming. Go ahead, shoot that. Little takes, fast. Keep stripping it, keep stripping it. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Oh! It was a cool bite. It was. Big fish, too. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna, just, I'm just, not gonna do it on my own anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, let, let you walk let, me through it. Let me, let me. Okay. That was great. You fished him great. More coming. They're right here at, at, at three. See him? Right here? Yeah. Turn him back now. Back into us? Yeah. Start throwing to your left. I see him. You see him? Don't push it. Nice, there you go. Strip it. Go again, right. Good. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Oh! Trip, 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 trip. Mm. Good try. Thanks. They, were, they seemed a little bothered. All right, good try. That wasn't your fault. That was no fish cooperation. <sighs> is that them out in uh -huh, the green? All that dark is them. Pushing right at me, right here. Mm hmm Start casting. One second. Go ahead. Little ticks. Trip, 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 faster. Go again. A little bit right. Keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping. Faster. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Pull left. Watch your line get on the reel. Watch, look down, look down, look down, look down, look down. You're good, you're good, you're good. Don't hold the reel handle, just let him go. Awesome freaking job. I just said the biggest prayer. <laughs> no, literally while I was while I was stripping. When he jumps, just give him the tip a little right. bit. We'll go ahead and crank up a little bit. Great job, honey. Thanks, honey. Great job for you too. Perseverance paid off. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. By Deep Eddie Vodka, dive in. Nautilus Reels, tested on animals and by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. But in fly casting, you're casting the weight of the fly line. Lines were level during most of the history of fly fishing, and fly fishing, putting feathers on a hook, goes back almost to the time of Christ, and there's, there's uh, drawings in the Macedonian caves of, of people dangling a, 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 a hook with feathers in it. Fly fishing goes back quite a while. In 1509, Michelangelo painted Jonah and the Great Fish. And from the Bible, you know, this is the, the beast of which Jonah sat in the belly of for th three days and then came out and survived. But on the top, and it's in the Sistine Chapel, is the painting by Michelangelo. And if you look and see what the great beast was, it's very difficult not to realize that's an Atlantic tarpon. And so, um, you know, the revelation that came to me was, wow, that's fantastic. And I knew this was a great fish. 
and it's a beautiful fish and it's something I think every angler can appreciate. But you know, really down deep, the, the thing, the, at least the revelation to me is it's a great fish, it's God's fish. And it's, you know, it's a special messenger. It understands the environment. It certainly understands the angler. And, you know, and it intrigues scientists because of all the behaviors and, and things that it does. Big herd coming there. See them flashing? A little less than a football field. They're probably gonna come right inside of us. You see them? No. Three o'clock. Are they rolling? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm pointing my rod, so where should I be? A little right of that, like 60, 70 yards. See that one? Yes, I see them. <clears throat> They're gonna probably come down in here. That one just ate something. Start throwing right here, start throwing right here. See him coming there? Right, right of that, right there, good. Little ticks. Leave it, strip it. Keep stripping, keep stripping, keep stripping. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Good job. Real, real when you can. He's gonna take off here. He's just coming at you. Keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining. Golly, they're everywhere. Tons of them. Holy cow. Good job, honey. Good job to you. Get your left hand down the rod. There you go. Whine when you can. He's pulling me. Right now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> Be sure and log on to SilverKingsTV.com or WaypointTV.com to watch past episodes and stay caught up on the series. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo. Season two! That's the most animal! Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild, by Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. Smith, the experience is everything. And by Chica Lodge and Spa, authentically Florida Keys, authentically cheap. Big herd coming there. A little less than a football field. They're probably gonna come right inside of us. You see them? No. Three o'clock. Strip in fast. Start throwing right here. Start throwing right here. Right. Right of that. Right there. Good. Shoot that. Little ticks. Leave it. Strip it. Keep stripping, keep stripping, keep stripping. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Real, real when you can. He's gonna take off here, he's just coming at you. Keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining. Good job. Good job, honey. Good job to you. Golly, they're everywhere, tons of them, holy cow! Get your left hand down the rod, there you go. Wine when you can. He's pulling me. He's still taking. Keep winding. Doing good, just wind, keep winding like that. Crazy fish. Here comes your fly line. Fish surges, you gotta let go of that reel handle. Okay. We're gonna try and get up on him and get the leader, okay? Okay. He's healthy. Wind down, wind down, wind down. There's your leader. There's your, you got it. Got it. Release. Release. Awesome job. Way to go. Way to go, honey. Take your right hand, put it under the reel, 
and add a little extra pressure as he's running away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it on there. If he and if he jumps, give it to him. Bow. Right. Awesome, honey. Thank you. Proud of you. It's a great cast. He gives you an inch, you take it. That's better. Reel down, do it again. Good. He's out there working hard now. Now lift straight up, kind of try to pick his head up. Wind down again. Excellent job, honey. Give me a couple little short cranks. Pinch the line, that's it. Right. Excellent. Good. Right. A nice fish, honey. 80 pounds or so. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna reel down. Pull left, leading to the left. Now pull right, that's it. That's it. Wind down, wind down. I may let go. <laughs> awesome! Put the boat in gear straight. Let him go. There he goes. Catch him another day. Oh, that was fabulous. Oh. Hey, I'm very proud of you. You did everything so good. Uh, oh. All that, that work and effort and casting. Good job.